Hello folks, this is Ayatan Ajha from InspireToRise.com. Welcome back to another mind-blowing tech video after a gap of a long time. And right now, in the past few years, AI has taken a beautiful road and without wasting much time, let's talk about the state of AI model image generation. So we have the competitors, we have Midjourney, we have Gemini and we have Dolly. So in order to run this test, what I did was that I signed up for a paid subscription for almost all of these services. So what I have access to is Midjourney. What I have access to is Dolly, which is the paid version bundled up with chat GPT. What I have access to is Gemini advanced with over 1 million tokens because yes, absolutely. I'm a sucker. I paid for that access as well. So let's delve deeper. Let's see what happens here. So. Firstly, let's talk about the prompt that I used. So firstly, I tried it with Gemini Advanced. So Gemini Advanced is the one which has recently been launched. And you can see my prompt. It's generate an image of a horse running over the rainbow bridge of Asgard seen from afar in the art style of Leonardo da Vinci. So Gemini Advanced, technically it's Gemini Advanced. This is something very different as opposed to what Google has been offering till now. This is the most advanced model that Google has to provide. And yes, in terms of reading documents, in terms of text, etc., those 1 million tokens really come in handy. But right now, as we can see, it's okay, but it's not a really realistic depiction of a horse running over the rainbow bridge of Asgard seen from afar in the art style of Leonardo da Vinci. Only the third image kind of looks like something that you might want to see, but still it's not that great. So then we took the same question, flipped it over and asked it to Dolly. So I asked it to Dolly and I said, generate an image of a horse running over the rainbow bridge of Asgard seen from afar in the art style of Leonardo da Vinci. So the thing is that Dolly did not understand, for example, it took the prompt about Asgard and maybe there is some sort of architecture on the behind here. You can see some of the Asgardian architecture style and there is a different kind of horse over here. But the whole concept of rainbow bridge the rainbow bridge which is the Yagdrasil. Yagdrasil, oh no, Yagdrasil is the world tree but the rainbow bridge is the Bifrost. So the Bifrost is not being shown here properly so it could not decipher my command. Now let's head over to what Midjourney done, what Midjourney did and I still believe that Midjourney is one of the state of the art uh, image generation tools. Dali also comes in very close, it was able to depict a lot of good stuff here but let's see what Midjourney has to offer. So guys, here we are inside Discord, wherein I access my mid-journey paid subscription plan. Yes, absolutely. I'm looking at you. And I guess one of the best descriptions for this prompt was generated for me my mid-journey. Because look at these images. Look at the fourth image. The fourth image kind of evokes that ethereal feeling of maybe rainbow bridge because the rainbow bridge has to be somewhere up suspended and kind of evokes that feeling and beautiful art style and no other image uh, kind of got very close to understanding the prompt but this fourth variation did get close to understanding the prompt so if we take variations of the fourth image let's see so what i found out from this small experiment was that when it comes to image generation Mid journey still takes takes the lead, but if we talk about AI and context and tokens and reading PDFs, understanding stuff, being able to summarize ent entire PDFs and stuff and being able to read things at will, there Google's Gemini Advanced takes the lead. And do let me know about in the comments below, do you think that AI would help modern workers like us more in our journey or are we all going to become jobless in the near future? Do let me know your thoughts about this in the, the comments below and I'll see you guys soon in the next video.